Alright, so this is Q&A number one. Um, today I decided to go back and spike my hair, which I haven't done in forever. Uh, you guys have been requesting me to do it. Um, and I talked about it in the video below this, and very shortly I will be having a tutorial over it. Alright, so uh, I'm going to start with your questions. This might take a while to get through because there's uh, quite a few. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, this comes from Helba L. Har Harwari. Alright, oh, and if I pronounce the your names wrong, it's because I'm dyslexic and I can't friggin' read to save my life. Alright, it says, uh, question, okay, Q&A. Besides voicing your feelings in blogs, how do you deal with any hate you get in real life, and how do you keep your head up? Um, well, I'm sure that people probably look at me, especially when I look like this, and they're probably saying, especially strangers, people that don't know me, or my personality, they're probably like, what the fuck? Um, I've, it's, it's very rare that I ever actually, um, get people that, uh, dislike me with a fiery passion, and express it. Um, but, I have had some incidents where, um, shit's gone down in my life. Basically, I believe everything happens for a reason. I've said this many, many times. Um, and I shrug it off because even if it is something that's hateful or whatever, um, I'm just like, well, that's their problem. And usually it's in high school. And I'm graduating early this year, so I really, I don't care. Especially if it's an underclassman, it just doesn't get to me anymore. But I will say my freshman year, it was um, a little difficult um, dealing with stuff, um, especially sexuality-wise. Uh, I never really had a lot of people that voiced to me um, how weird it was. Um, but I know that people did talk about me behind the back a lot. Uh, whether I was friends with them or not, um, they would be like, oh, that's Wendy, that lesbian, weird girl, or whatever. Um, so yeah. I don't know, it was just, it's because I don't really, I didn't hang out with people outside of school, besides working at, uh, Loud House, which is like a music venue coffee thing, but people there all look like what I used to look like, so, I mean, I fit in there. So, I really didn't hang out with people, and how I dealt with it was not interacting with anybody. Uh, beyond my really close friends, which was like five people. So that's how I dealt with that. It's because I, di I didn't really get involved. If they tried to start something or, uh, I don't know, I just hung out with the people that I knew accepted me and that's it. So, all right. Um, uh, uh, Leslie and Nitsi. Um, my, well, my question was, what do you do if you get bullied so much because of our height? Um, I'm pretty average size. Um, I've never been bullied because of my height. Um, <laughs> so I, I, I guess I can't really answer that. Um, do you plan on make? oh, this comes from Ashley Cherry. Uh, do you plan on making videos forever? Uh, forever? I won't live forever, so I guess not. <laughs> but I plan on making them for a while. I don't I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. Um This is from Pac uh Paco or Paco Miller. Um, are you ever gonna dye your hair black ever again? Uh most likely not. Not really. It's um it took me forever to get it like this. And uh I don't plan on doing it like that ever again. But, you know, I'm not to say it won't happen. Maybe someday in the future I will. But I, I, I doubt it. Uh, but, oh. oh, hello, big name. Um, Amberil S33D34DP3OPL3 cross. Yeah, okay. What is your biggest fear and, oh, this one's good. What is your biggest fear and have you ever tried to get over it? Oh, Lord. I have many fears in this world. And when I say this, I'm not trying to sound funny. Because when I say it, it kind of makes me sound crazy or I'm being sarcastic. But I'm absolutely serious. I have a huge fear of werewolves. And, I mean, I could watch movies about them. But, uh, I have hallucinating, hallucinations sometimes. 
and uh, I either saw one or I was just tripping. And by tripping, I mean like, no, I wasn't doing drugs. I naturally hallucinate. I have hallucinations, especially when I get really tired. I have really bad sleep problems. Um, but no, my, my other normal fears, um, I'm scared of the dark. Mostly because I don't like werewolves. But that and because you can't see anything. Have I ever tried to get over it? Yes. I'm comfortable in my house, but I always have like a light with me, but when it comes to going outside, unless I'm in like a car, I can't handle it. Um, yeah, I've tried to get over it. Also, I can't swim. I'm a little scared of water too. Um, I do not like the ocean. <laughs> um, another one of my fears is my family, like family members passing away or close friends. Um, that's nothing you can really do for that. Um, it's just, you gotta cope with it. Uh, I don't know. I have a lot of little fears and stuff. Um, I have a huge fear of what people think of me. Like, my appearance. Most people, I mean, a lot of people care about their appearance, but I feel like I'm just, I always feel so, I just, I feel like everyone else is so much better than me. Like, in the fact that their clothes are nicer, or they have more of something, um, and I just feel like I'm like the minimum, and I don't like it, because I feel like everyone in their mind thinks they're better than me, and I feel like we're all the same, so I want to kind of even it out. I don't know how to explain that, um, but yeah, thank you for your question. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'm having problems with coming out. It's really terrifying to me, because the city I live in is not accepting um, very accepting. Okay, and that comes from James um, Tindleton. Well, I can say I live in a very small town in Tennessee, um, but most people here are, for the most part, are, they, it's not necessarily that they're accepting, it's the fact that they just decide to look the other way. Um, I'm not telling them to do anything, so they shouldn't tell me to do anything. I will say there are, sometimes there's conflict but I'm very grateful that I do have people that accept me for who I am. Um, you know, I, it's, it, it can be really difficult when you're in, like, it, my school is, is okay. Um, other schools, though, I will say it's pretty, it's, it's probably really terrifying because a lot of schools, they just have a lot of bullies. Mine doesn't really have that problem. That, and I don't really get involved with people too, enough you know, I've never dated anyone that even went to the same school as me when it comes to high school. Um, so I avoid drama in the grandest possible way. That's what I would recommend. And sometimes I recommend to people that it is best you don't come out until you're out of school. Because if it's in a situation you know it's going to cause major conflicts and it's not going to pass over, like mine passed over. No one cared. They're like, oh, it's just Wendy. Because <laughs> um, I do weirder things than just be gay like panic attack over Santa Claus. Yes, I did panic attack over Santa Claus. So, people are used to me being weird, I guess. Um, but if you're in a situation you feel like it might be okay, and it would be something that at first some people would be a little confused about, I say go for it. I do not ever, ever recommend you come out in the middle school. I did, but I'm not saying I'm an exception. I'm just saying my school didn't really give a fuck. And secondly, the way I did it, um, I didn't tell people, hey, I'm gay. I just dated a girl outside of school. She went to my school, don't get me wrong, but I mean, outside of school is the one we dated. We didn't, you know, interact during school. Um, you just, it's really not good to come out in middle school because middle school is full of dumbass, dumbasses. Yeah. They're like in that middle phase, fucking awkward. Don't do it. Just, just don't do it. Um, but sometimes it's just that you don't come out until after you're out of high school, seriously, in the real world. But you're always going to be judged for things. It doesn't matter if you're gay or if you're, you know, a different skin color or if you smell or what people see is abnormal. You're always going to be judged. Even if you're the pretty popular whatever. You're still going to be judged. 
people still look at you. People like me used to look at pe cheerleaders and be like, fuck you, you know, you guys are fucking dumbasses. And now I see I was wrong to do that. Um, we're all people. We all have insecurities and we all have problems that we deal with. No, nobody should ever, you know, judge people, but we're humans and it's what we do. Um, let's see, what else we got here? Um, this came from Camd. She has, he or she has two questions. Do you like dubstep? Yes, I like dubstep. Um, <laughs> also another Cam's question, um, how do I answer a question? That's a, um, how do you answer, uh, you give your, you voice your opinion, that's how you answer a question. Um, and, let's see here. Oh, this is cute. Okay, Dylan Cox says, um, what does the M in, in your name stand for? Uh, Wendy Michelle Nicole Brown, that's my name. Um, Kristen Smiley Face asks, when did you first start playing guitar? Uh, the sixth grade is when I first started uh, playing. Um, well, this isn't a question, but Miss Nikki Mystery says, I love you. Love you too, hon. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, there's just comments from here on. Um, it's not really big Q and A's. Uh, so yeah, that wraps it up for uh, Q and A number one. If you want to ask me questions, it's twitter.com/windy m n brown. The link is in the description box below. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I can't wait to make more question and answer videos. Um, just keep posting your questions. Love you guys.